Hi crocheters of the world, I'm Wana and this is Wana's Crochet Channel on YouTube. In this tutorial I want to show you a pattern stitch, pattern cable stitch uh, that I created uh, putting together two ways of working cables, crochet cables. So now let's get started. The multiple of this uh, pattern stitch is 30 plus 2 or we can say plus 4 actually okay so 30 this means that you will put 30 stitches uh, for the length uh, that you need for your project so for the width actually that you need for your project it, it can be a beautiful scarf a uh, man scarf or uh, a blanket or so on or pillows and uh, you will add four more chains at the end now to begin I just put 34 stitches so only for this watch we have 34 so it's one uh, multiple and 30 plus 4 okay now let's get started I'm working with a medium worsted weight yarn acrylic yarn and the four millimeters hook but if you want to make something so if you want to work a project with this i highly recommend you some soft wool because it would be really really nice okay now to begin we will insert the hook into the third yarn over into the third chain from the hook and we will work our first double crochet these two chains won't count as a stitch and we will just go on like this working in each of our chain one double crochet for this first row i finished my first row and now to begin the second row and to begin a new row we will always chain two and this chain two won't count as a stitch yarn over insert the hook into the very first double crochet and work a double crochet now this will be our front side to work the cables in crochet you must know how to work the front post and the back post double crochet so i don't have a video tutorial on these two stitches but there are plenty on youtube so please if you don't know how to work them please go on and search for one uh, tutorial on youtube that uh, shows you how to work them and then you can come back and work this uh, this pattern stitch or learn this pattern stitch okay so now we will work so this will be our front side so we will work like this one double crochet into the second work one double crochet and now on the next four stitches we will work the first cable so to work the cable we will skip the first two stitches and around the third we will work a long double crochet and let me show you how to work this yarn over and instead of pulling through two we will pull through one then yarn over pull through two and yarn over pull through two and this is the long double crochet now around the second work the same thing yarn over pull through one pull through two and pull through two now we have to come back so we crisscross this uh, two uh, these two groups of two double crochets and we have to come back and to work our um, skipped stitches we will begin with the first and then the second yarn over around the stitch so we work front post and yarn over pull through one and yarn over pull through two and pull through two now the second yarn over pull through one pull through two and pull through two and this is our first cable okay now into the very next stitch work a double crochet into the stitch then the next two stitches will be two front post double crochets so around the post of the stitch work one double crochet and around the post of the next work one double crochet okay now the next stitch will be a normal double crochet so work the stitch into the stitch actually okay now on the next 12 stitches we will work a very very beautiful 
a cable stitch. We have to think of these 12 stitches as, uh, as four groups of three double crochets. Okay, now let us begin with the first group of three and we will work uh, front post double crochet. We always work front post double crochet on cables and we, when we cross them, we work long double crochet. So only when we cross them. So I work my three for the first group of three. Now, on the central two groups of three, so my six here, I will cross. And I will skip the first three and around the next I will work my long double crochet one and then the second one front post long double crochet and then the third around the stitch pull through one pull through two and pull through two okay now we have to come back and to work this but how we will work them into the stitches but here on the back side okay now let's be sure that we will work the first stitch into the first stitch yarn over and from the back from the back like this insert the hook into the stitch actually okay and work a long double crochet okay now from this for the second and the third it's easier because we can see them very clear and work a long double crochet okay now the third the same thing long double crochet and now we crisscross the central part yarn over and we have the last group of four groups of three double crochets and we want to work them front post double crochets uh, as the first group and this is actually the first row of the pattern that we will work in the middle okay so on these 12 and on one side and on the other side we will work this cable okay and in the middle we will work this this is the first uh, the first row of the sequence to repeat we will have just one more row and that's all for this one it's like this that we have to continue on so in each row on the front side because when you work cables you only uh, cross them on the front side so on the front side only so when i speak about one row i'm speaking about the front side row okay okay now we will repeat one double crochet into the next double crochet two front post double crochet into the next two now one double crochet and again we will repeat the cable on four stitches so skip two work a long double crochet into the next another long double crochet into the next and now we will come back and work the skipped two stitches these two so around the stitch work a long double crochet it's not difficult it's just we have to pay attention not to skip one stitch and we will finish as we as we began with two double crochets okay and this was the first actually the first stitch of the pattern because the double crochet the first row of the pattern sorry the the double crochet row was the prep row okay now let's get started with to the with the next chain two always chain two and into the very first double crochet work a double crochet now we are on the back side of our i worked my two double crochets now we are on the back side of our um work and on the back side we will work like this all the front side stitches will be back side uh, back post stitches so this is my first two my first four actually and i will begin with the first one which is this one so from the back around the stitch work your back post one and now the second one just be sure that insert the hook around here it is my back post and work your stitch now again 
as I said before, we never cross the, the, the cables on the back side. Okay, now this is normal double crochet, so we will work it as normal double crochets. Now we have our two front post double crochet and we will work them as two back post double crochets because actually we are on the back of our work. Okay, this is one double crochet, normal double crochet, so we work them like normal double crochet. Now we have the three double crochets, front post, and we just want to work them as back post double crochets because we are on the back. Okay, now we have the crisscross, the two crisscross and we will work back double po uh, back post double crochets uh, the stitches that we work into the stitch, okay? And so all the six stitches here will be back post double crochet. So this is the first And this is the next and this is the third of my first group of three. And now can you see these are my one, two, three. So I will begin with this one. Just watch me where I put my uh, crochet hook so around the post okay and work the stitch. The stitch must remain here on the back side, so here, the top of the stitch. Okay, now we have the front post, three front posts and we work them as three back posts. Okay, and now we have the normal double crochet, so we insert the hook into the stitch, we work the double crochet. So this remain the same. Now two front posts and there will be now two back posts. And this is a normal double crochet. So actually we are playing with front post and back post. That's all. Okay, and now we have our cable. Now first stitch. We must have four. Now the second one. And now the other group of two, so this is one and this is two. And we work our cable and now to finish we will work the double, two double crochets, just a regular stitches. One and two. Okay, now again on the front side, chain two to turn your work. So, as I said before, only on the front side we can speak about the pattern stitch. So it's here that I will work the second step for my sequence to repeat for this cable in the middle, worked on 12, okay? So chain two, work two double crochets to begin. And now we have the cable, so here it's really easy, skip two, insert the hook around the next and work a long double crochet around the next, work a long double crochet and now come back and around the skipped two stitches work two more double crochets and this is how we have to continue on for this cable uh, into each of our front side row. Okay, now this is a normal double crochet, so we just want to work it as a normal double crochet. These are front post double crochets, so we just go on and we work them as front post double crochet. And this is another normal double crochet. Okay, now we are here on our 12 stitches of the large cable. So into the first row, pattern row, we just crisscrossed the central two groups of three. Now we want to crisscross like this. The first group of three with the second and the third with the fourth. So skip the first group of three and work the next. Long double crochets because we are crossing them two and three around the stitch of course 
And now we have to come back on these scapped, three scap stitches. We will begin with the first. Around the stitch, work your long double crochet. Pull through one, pull through two, and pull through two. Okay? And now the second, around the post of the stitch, work. Pull through one, pull through two, and pull through two. And the last, the third, around the stitch, work your. Okay. And now what we have here are the next um, three and three, the next two groups of three. And we will want to cross them too. So we will skip these three and we will just go on and work the last three. Pull through one, of course, three, uh, long double crochet, pull through one, pull through two and pull through two. And again, yarn over, pull through one and pull through two and pull through two. Now we worked our three, last three, and now we have to come back, just watch them, one, two, three, and to work this scapped group of three. Of course, front post, long double crochet, so around the stitch, pull through one, pull through two, and pull through two, and again. Okay, we finished with our uh, large cable here in the middle, worked on 12 stitches. Okay, now we work the double crochets, uh, double crochet, then the two front posts, one and two. Now the double crochet and we will cross these two. So we skip the first two, we work the next, front post, double crochet, and we come back and we work the scapped stitches exactly the same way that we worked the first two. One and two. And we finish the row with two, our two double crochets worked into the stitch. One and two. Chain two. And turn your work. Now I just want to show you what we have. So for this one we have to work two more rows, two or three more rows, front side rows, I'm talking about this side, and just to see the, the pattern. But for this you just already can see them. Look at them, aren't they beautiful? Okay, so chain two and turn. We are on the back side which means that all the stitches of the uh, front side, so all the stitches that we crossed on the front side, we will work them uh, front back post. And of course the um, stitches that we worked them front post, we will work them back post. So let us begin with the first four back post. And we just work them as they are. So we don't crisscross them, just work them as they are. Only that we work them now back post front, uh, back post double crochet. Now this is a normal double crochet, so we work them as it is. These are the front post and we work them back post. This is the normal double crochet and now we are on our 12 stitches here and we just have to be sure that we work each of them. So here I have my first one, two, three, my first group. So around the first stitch I will work my first double crochet. Now this is my second and around it I will work my second back post and here it is my third. So try not to skip any. And this is my second group of three, so I will insert the hook here and work my back post one and then the second and then the third. With a little practice I'm sure you, you will be able to work it. Now this was the first were the first two groups and now we have to work the last two groups of our 
large cable here. One, this is the second, and this is the third. It's here. Don't miss it. Okay. And now we have to work the last group of three. Only back post. Okay. Okay, now the double crochet, then the back post, these two in the middle. Oops, it slips. The back post. And back post. And the normal double crochet. The last cable, we have four stitches to work. One, two, and three, and four. Okay, and the last two stitches, normal double crochet. So we begin and we end with two normal double crochets. Chain two, and let us begin our third row of the pattern stitch because as I said the pattern stitch is worked only on the front side we can speak about the pattern stitch and for the this cable we just go continue on we, we just cross in each of our front side row for this we continue on working in one uh, front side row we crisscross only uh, the two groups in the middle and into the second front side row we crisscross the first with the second and the third with the fourth okay so that's all now let me just show you this more this row too and yes that's it from now on you just have to now I'm I cro I'm crossing the two groups of two for the first cable, now I am back and work the scapped two. Okay, now just work this group of four one double crochet, two front posts, double crochets, and one more double crochet. Okay, and now here we are on our 12 the cable with 12 and now as I said just watch at your pattern so here it was the first row of the pattern here it is the second so which means we have to begin with this one so easily we will work the first group normally so normal double crochet because we are not crossing them just work the first group of three with front post double crochet and now we will just cross these two. So skip the three, insert the hook into the first, oops, and work long double crochet. One, pull through one, pull through two, and pull through two. And the last one of this group. And now we always crisscross them, as I said, we work this like this front post but we work the scap three here into the stitch actually so just be sure here it is my first stitch so that's why i'm trying to get it like this okay and now i just want to work my long double crochet and then it's really easy because we can see the stitches the next two stitches for the first it's a little bit more difficult because we have to be sure that we we are into it okay I crisscrossed and now I just work double crochet front post normal double crochet for the last group of three so like this and like this I just want to show you this one more time okay now double crochet then front post and front post and normal double crochet and now we have to crisscross we skip two and we work 
long double crochet front side long double crochet for the next two stitches and now we come back and we work long double crochets front side front post sorry double crochets for these two stitches okay perfect and we finish as we began with two normal double crochets and now you know how to work the pattern okay so we just want to continue on like this the back side now you know the back side and the front side how to work it and as I said before for this large cable you will work only on front side I'm talking only about the front side uh, because this is the side with the pattern so you will work uh, into the first row of the pattern you will work you will cross only the two in the middle, the two groups of three in the middle and you will work normally front post double crochets for the first and for the last and into the second row of the pattern which is on the front side only, only where, when you are on the front side so now we work the back side row and then when we come back on the front side we work the second row of the pattern and for the second row of the pattern we crisscross the first with the second and the third with the fourth okay so that's all I am trying to work some projects with this pattern stitch because I really really love it some maybe a hat or something else but you can just go on and put maybe twice the multiple and work a very very nice um, scarf for men or even like this you can work it it's it's large enough to work it with the width it's okay to work a nice uh, man's scarf hope you enjoyed the tutorial uh, hope you like these uh, cable stitches I really adore this technique in uh, Aaron technique actually in crochet and uh, see you at the next tutorial bye bye there was just one more thing so after you just go on some rows, you will have something like this. Just I wanted to show you a, um, a image, let's say, of the pattern stitch. Okay, so this is actually how it looks. It's, it's wonderful. I just love it. So if you love Aaron, I'm sure you will just adore this pattern. Bye!